Hey guys, Taps here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to share another video with you. And in this video, I want to show you how to design a real estate consulting website. So this website will be useful for you if you are into the business of consulting in the real estate niche, then I got you covered. Even if you are still doubling up as an agent, try to find people houses, then this tutorial is right for you. So as you can see on my screen here, I will be, this is the exact website that I will be designing. Uh, you would see a picture of somebody here who is really into real estate and we make better real estate decisions. Uh, if you come down here, you can get a free consulting, how we can help you more about your business and more about the services that you offer. And then another validation with your picture here that you are an expert in the real estate business and also reviews of what your clients are saying about you, those who have worked with you, and then a footer session here where people can contact you and they can get more details about you. And that's really what it is to the home page. And then you have quite a number of pages here, like your services, even about you page here. So your services here kind of give a render about all the businesses you do and how you can help people and also about you tell us more uh into your personality you how what you do and how you use your expertise to drive results for people and also your mission your vision the things that drive you really and also if you double up as an agent and people can find house through you for example if you do that that's optional really uh, if you come to the next option here you can see a list of houses that you have listing and people can come down here they can search they can filter by their address, by their prices, uh, the type of home that they want, whether it's an apartment, a condo, or a house, uh, how many bedrooms, how many bedrooms, and you can even get more filters here. And someone here can even uh, save their search so that when they are coming back next time, they have access to the kind of houses they are looking for. That's quite amazing. So if you come down here, you see a number of listings you can possibly click on one to see more about that listing. Uh, this is a spectacular house. You can see more images. So if you click this, it will over on the image. You can scroll through all the image. You, you can close this and then you can come down. You From here, you can see all the details about the website, the basics, the description, open house, building details, uh, quite a number of things and you can talk to an agent directly about this house to request more info or to maybe schedule or and that agent has to be you definitely uh, so that's it um nearby details secondary school elementary school so you can do that and people can then go to the next property or even the previous property you can request an info here too as well and this will bring you down here where you can put your name and email your phone number and send them a message hey i like this house i want to know more about that house and you, the owner, you, the consultant, will get to know more about this. And that's it. So uh, people can contact you. There's a contact page. And also, you can also make this more like a membership uh, website where people can create an account. So if they come to login, they can log in with their email account. And if they don't have an account here, they can also sign up. Um, once they come here, they can sign up with their email, put their email and the password, and they sign up. And this will create... A profile for them like i'll show you exactly what the profile page will look like eventually i'm not signing into this site so i can't show you what the profile page look like but eventually you would see uh, what that profile page look like so if you're excited about this kind of website if this is exactly what you're looking for then let's get started into the tutorials immediately <laughs> So I'll literally be teaching you how to design this website for free. But one thing that may not necessarily be free for you is an hosting account and a domain name. So you need to register a domain name that will be, for example, iBlockTraffic.com. And then an hosting account is the server that will make the website live visible on the World Wide Web. So in case you have a domain or you have an hosting account that you want to use already, that's quite fantastic. You may want to skip this section and that will take me to the timestamp in the description. You can check that for you to be able to navigate around the website easily. 
This may be a very long video, so I want to make it step by step for everyone, whether or not you're a beginner or if you are very used to WordPress or designing websites. So either way, I want to carry everyone along. So, so right now, I have two options for you getting an hosting and a domain name. So if you are looking into a budget-friendly hosting, one that would save you at your startup level, you're not ready to invest so much money, you have a minimum budget, and you want a place that can give you literally everything you want, then I will recommend that you look to Hostinger. Hostinger is the best budget-friendly hosting out there because you can start for as low as 2.99. I will also show you exactly how to use my coupon code to even get something way more smaller. It will give you a free domain, it will give you SSL, and it will give you a platform for you to use to design your website. This is the best budget-friendly hosting out there and literally it is one that i have used and i cannot testify that you won't have a problem using but if you are somebody who is more concerned about quality you want something that will give you more speed more resources and you're ready to pay more money i would advise that you look into a2 hosting because a2 hosting uh, is also a platform i've used you can check the video description for you to see a link to either hostinga or to a2 hosting those links are my affiliate links if you buy it through my link i will get a certain commission for recommending you but trust me this is me recommending the best tools that i have used to host my website i have an active account with a2 hosting and also an active account with Ostinga. I recommend Ostinga for beginners. So when your website is getting traffic, getting more established, then you can invest into A2 Ostinga for you to get their turbo boost server speed and all those things. For the sake of this tutorial, I will stick with Ostinga. So if you click the link in the description, it will bring you here to this platform and you will see that you are qualified to get up to 75% off hosting fees and that's the first thing you want to do and you will see that you have access to get 2.99 plus three months free and what you have to do here without wasting time is to claim this deal this premium web hosting is enough for you to design your website and as a matter of fact you have access to use this hosting account to host up to 100 websites on limited bandwidth uh, you'll get a free domain name and as as well a couple of other things so what you have to do here is to add to cart. That will bring you to this page here where you can choose the best pricing plan for you. So if you scroll down here, you can see that you can go the monthly route, the 12 month, the 24 month, the 48 months. I always recommend people to go for the 48 months plan because this will give you access to plus three months for free. And this would also give you access to enjoy the entry level fees of 2.99 for 48 months plus three extra months before you start paying at a renewal fee of 6.99 per month. And this is the best renewal fee you can have. So if you come to 24 months plan, you see that the renewal fee is 7.99, 8.99. And for the monthly plan, it's a basic flat fee of 11.99 so if you come down here you will see that you have a place for you to use a coupon code if you use my coupon code called dabs you would and hit the apply button you can see that we have a, a further slash now we have a discount of 78 percent and now instead of paying four four six dollars you can pay one two nine dollars for a 51 months plan so now because this is 48 plus 3 that's 51 months and now you are paying 2.69 and that's not all you'll be renewed at 6.99 per month which is the best deal out there so i recommend this but if you cannot afford this you can go for the 24 months plan or even for the 12 months plan at the barest minimum the, the monthly plan in my opinion is a ripoff so i would not encourage you to do that so if you do this if you select the 48 months plan all you have to do here put your email address here the next thing you have to do here is to select the best payment method that is okay with you whether with your credit card or with paypal whatever you're okay with uh credit card is selected by default so go through this process and submit a secured payment so immediately you make payment, it would redirect you to a page as this and you will see hello, you can start now and let's hit start now. Uh, you'll be asked some questions. Do you want to create this website for yourself or for someone else? Uh, whatever is okay. If you're creating it for yourself, I can just say I'm creating it by myself. I'm building this myself. I'm hiring a developer. Uh, let's just build this for ourselves. What type of website are you trying to design here? I can just say another type of website. 
do you need help building this your website i can just say no i know exactly what i'm doing and then do you want to create or migrate this website we want to create a new website and then do you want to use wordpress or maybe hosting builder i want to stick with wordpress and then you will be brought here where you can select your language english language is okay for me your administrator email and that's okay for me and then i have to create a password and so be careful for you to make it that you have one number one lower case uh, it has to be between 8 to 50 characters one symbol one upper case and one sign maybe latin letter whatever like that that's very important for you to encrypt your password if not you'll not be able to pass this face so once you're done with that you can just hit the continue button and then you'll be asked if you want to add this plugin you can just keep all these things and then you ask you as well if you want to add a team you can also skip this i don't need this template and if you just bought your hosting account right now you will have this option here for you to claim a free domain and that's exactly what i expect that you do so if you come here you can then enter the desired domain that you want to use uh, but for the sake of this tutorial i have a domain i want to use so i'll not be using this free domain so i'll just come the route of an existing domain name and i have a domain name called best cash center that i want to use so i can just hit continue uh, this domain is already hosted with hostinger so i already have this domain name already hosted but you can follow this procedure and once you register with your domain name you can set your server location so for the sake of this tutorial let me just change this to another name so that you can see exactly what to expect in the next step so i can just do uh, a random name like this i can hit continue oh this domain name doesn't exist i'm sorry so let me use another domain name i blog income uh, so it will bring you here where you need to finish your setup but one thing you have to do here is one thing you have an option to do here is to is to change your server location so your server location is quite very important in your journey to designing your website or to pick a location for your server i will always advise people to choose a server that is closest to where their potential website visitors are coming so if you are designing a real estate business uh, you are in the United States and you are offering services in the United States, then definitely in North America or any other location in America may be the best for you. So let's come down here to see the list of the several locations they have. They have a location in North America, in Europe, France, Europe, Netherlands, then Europe, United Kingdom. So if you are in the United States, for example, and you want to design this real estate website for people in the United Kingdom or anywhere in Europe, I expect you to choose a server location in Europe. So it's not necessarily where you are, but where your website visitors will be coming from. Uh, so that's quite very important in choosing your server location. So, so I'll leave this as basic. So I'll hit the finish setup. Uh, once we hit the finish setup wordpress start installing on our website for the sake of this tutorial here we'll be using this domain that i already registered best cash center like i said earlier uh, to design the exact same website that is here so in case you still want to have more tutorials around hostinger to get things done to create professional emails i have a playlist in the description you can check it i have a handful of tutorials around hostinger that will walk you here and there that would help you sort things out so that's it so let's log into the back end of this website and to do that really all you have to do is to just do your website slash wp hyphen admin and that will bring you to an option here where you can just put your username and your password and i'll be doing that now to access the back end okay fantastic i'm at the back end of this website right now uh first things first before we start designing our website i want us to do some cleanup first i always love to do that so i'll come to plugins i'll come to install plugins uh most hosting accounts especially with hostinger would install some plugins that you necessarily do not need so as you can see i've got these plugins here so i would deactivate all of them deactivate first after taking everything then i'll hit the apply button this would deactivate all of these plugins so another one plugin here that might be useful for you when you are done with this website entirely is the lightspeed cache plugin 
This plugin will help you cache your website for more speed. So I would advise that you leave that plugin. But for now, I will just highlight all of them. I will untick Lightspeed Cache so that I can install it after I'm done with the website. And then I can come to bulk action here. I can then delete the entire plugins. And then I will hit the OK button. And then this plugin gets deleted one after the other. And as you can see, all these plugins are gone. So the next thing we have to do is to come to appearance and then come to themes. And then we have our three default WordPress uh, default themes here, which is the 2023, 2021, and 2022. So we'll be deleting this one since we don't need them. Also, I will delete 2022 as well. Okay, so we have the default 2023 theme here. So let's come to visit the front end of our website, bestcatchcenter.com. So this is the theme here. So first things first, we have to install a WordPress theme that will give us exactly what we have here. So let's come back to the back end here. Let's come to add new. And then right at our far end here is Astra. We are going to be installing Astra theme. So let's hit the install button. And then when this is done installing, we also hit the activate button as well, as you can see. So that's it. We already have Astra team installed and activated. So if you come back to the front end of our website and refresh this, we should have something entirely different. So you can see we have something quite different and that's good. So once we are done with the team here, the next thing we can do, and by the way, I love to leave the default latest WordPress team as a backup for my team. That's just me. It's a standard practice I've kept over the years. So you can as well delete this uh, to keep your website free, but I just love to keep one of those themes. So that's it. So once we are done with this, you will see a notification here for Astra for you to install the starter template. And that's exactly what we want to do. So we are going to hit the get started button. So this would install a starter template and also activate it. So as you can see, it is activating. And this will bring us here. You have the option here to watch this video, but for the sake of this tutorial, I will just build my website now. And then I have the option to choose my preferred page builder. Elementor is always the go-to for me. So I'll eat Elementor. This will bring us to the template library where we have to choose what template we want for our website. So if you come down here, up here, you can just search for real estate. My website is kind of slow. Uh, and uh, you would see that we have quite a number of options here. A majority of the things here uh, have this premium badge. It means that you need to go for Astra Pro before you can use them. But the, the good thing about it is that the very first thing here uh, that is a real estate consultant website is actually free. It doesn't have a premium badge. And there's another one here, which is a construction company, a roofing company. But basically what we want to be installing here is this real estate consultant website that is free for us to use. So let's click this. So you can see the website here, pretty much the same thing I showed you earlier. And then that's everything we want to do here. You can do some form of customization here, like trying to add a logo, but let's just skip all these and continue. And here again, you can have the option for you to change the color palette to other colors. But I will leave the default color. Basically, if you have colors for your, if you have preferred colors, you can change them here using their color palette and then also change the front as well. But all these customization are things we can do eventually later when we are done designing our website. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just hit the continue button. And then uh, Astra will be asking you for your, for your first name, your work mail, and other things here but for the sake of this tutorial i will just submit and build my website and you can see we are building your website we are installing required themes plugin form etc so we have to give this time for this to install our theme so in less than one minute as you can see here our team is done building and congratulations our website is ready and this just took 23 seconds to build amazing cool stuff so now let's come back to the front end of our website and let's hit the refresh button and voila we have the same website here here ready for us and as a matter of fact this is everything if basically the only thing you do is real estate consulting this website is entirely ready for you to start 
customizing and then you have a live website you just need to change some of the text here change the pictures here which i'll be showing you exactly how to do eventually in this tutorial if outside of consulting you also work as an agent try to find people houses then let's install that feature on this website before we now go into customization so let's come back to the back end of this website let's hit this arrow here to exit back to our dashboard and let's come to plugins here let's come to add new we would set let's just search for real estate the first plugin we have here is Esther kit real estate plugin so we are going to be installing this plugin and we are going to activate this plugin as well so that's it uh, this plugin has been installed and activated and if you see by our far left here we now have a new feature for aesthetic and we have dashboard listing hard new property data manager field builder settings and also demo content but before we go into all of that we need to do something here so what we have to do is uh this plugin is upselling their premium plugin so you can get five off coupon code uh you can use that if you are okay with that but for the sake of this tutorial let's stick with the free so if you come down here you see the difference between the simple and the pro um and also the premium plugin and you see their pricing you can check that out if you're okay with the pro version you can go for it that's literally up to you for the sake of this tutorial i'm sticking with the free version uh, but for us to use this plugin we need to customize it for what we want and that's exactly what we're going to do so we're going to eat this plugin we're going to eat this button here that says adjust plugin to your needs and you can see that we are a single owner we are the only agent allowed on this website so if you want a marketplace uh website that allow other agents to use your website you may want to go for the pro version but for the sake of this tutorial a single owner is enough so what is your country location for the sake of this tutorial i'll stick with the united states but if you are into if you're in another country that is not listed there you can go for others and then i'll hit continue button so here the next thing is for us to set up google map api keys and for you to do that you just need to eat uh, getting this key here so if you hit this button here it will open another page where you can set up uh google api keys and this will just integrate maps with listings so people can search for listings on the map and that's quite very very important i don't know why this site cannot be reached but let me try and refresh this okay so that will bring you here where you can easily just create an api key and what you have to do here is for you to uh, just get started so you need to create an account here with google cloud so that will require that you had a credit card and uh, to use this platform i would not be doing this right now to create a project so as you can see it's bringing me down here first for me to select my country and then add a credit card uh, but unfortunately, uh, my local credit card right now is not being accepted for international transactions. And the cards I have for interna international transactions right now, Google is rejecting it. So I, I can't use this platform right now until I'm able to sort that out. I would have loved to show you exactly how to do this. But again, you can just search uh, any tutorial out there on how to integrate API. It's a pretty much simple thing for you to do to get a free API and then you can come back here and add this so that you can add google map to your searches but for the sake of this tutorial i'll skip this i'll just continue and then you can add recommended pages so there will be a list view a grid view sign up where people can sign up people can log in and also the profile and then the map view which will have been useful if you have a google api keys and then ability for people to reset password we are going to do all these things uh, the other pages here that, sh that should be created for us should be a front end management and then an agent page agency and an agent page so what these would be only activated when we go pro for the sake of this tutorial let's stick with the free and let's hit the continue button would you like to have demo listings uh, for you you may not want to have those demo listings like i showed you on this tutorial here if you come to find the house you see those listings there yeah, demo that the plugin created them for us for the sake of this tutorial i will say yes because i want to use i don't want to start manually creating our content so let's finish this okay so that's it we already have this plugin customized already so as you can see we have those default listings here and also we have this uh platform here 
where we can see all our listings we can search our property here and by filter there by category and check the status and the type uh, so we can filter uh, we can filter in case you have quite a number of listings and you want to just find a specific one you have the option here to filter this down and then we can come back here to our dashboard to my listings which is what i'm having here and then add a new property and go to our data management field builder settings i would eventually come up here to show you how all these things work eventually before i round up this tutorial and that's everything we need to do for this so if you come now to our pages and come to all pages we'll be able to have access to all the pages this plugin has created for us so right now you can see that we have a grid view here so if you open this in a new tab we also have a list view we can open this as well in a new tab so we'll have access to see what these pages look like. So for grid view, this is exactly what the view will look like. My internet connection is quite crappy this morning. So bear with me. Uh, I don't know what's going on with my ISP. Uh, so you can see this taking time to upload. So but this is exactly what you have a grid view. And then people can sort things out by zip, by price. And you can see there are quite a number of filters here. They can also sort this out by newest uh, lowest highest bedroom and um, bathrooms uh, that's okay they can also switch uh, between views as well they can come down here to see the list view and they can also use uh, the map but unfortunately here our map here is not showing because we've not been able to integrate a map api keys so that's quite very important for us to do so that's it so i've been able to show you this is what the list view tool will look by default so people can also switch in between to see exactly what they want and that's the beauty about this plugin it gives you quite a number of varieties based on people and their preferences and that's quite very fantastic so we can close um we can leave this basically let's not close it so if you come down here this is map view so as you can as i told you earlier this will not be working well until we integrate our map api keys and then we also have a profile here like i told you in the beginning i'll show you exactly what the profile would look like so if you come down here you see this is the profile you can easily upload your profile photo you can add your name your email account and then save changes you can verify your current password or add a new password confirm a new password and update your profile here uh, you can come to your saved homes in case you have saved some homes but if you don't have any homes here you can go to search for you to be able to search homes and then you can log out here and come back here and just do stuff on your profile really so that's it for our profile and then we can come here to see search results services and sign up so this is a page for sign up uh, for people to be able to sign up on your website but basically i just love to leave a login page like this uh, for people to log in but you can have a separate page a separate option for login and then for sign up but if somebody wants to sign up once they go to login, they will have the option to sign up. That's literally up to you for you to choose what you want. So what we want to do right now is for me to add this uh, login and then my listings to the menu on the website for people to be able to have access to it. So if I come to appearance and then I come to my menu. yeah you can see that i have options here for reviews and other things i don't think i want to leave reviews i will have to remove that because there is a place for review on the home page here so if you scroll down here there is a place for this review and people can read more reviews and this will now eventually take them to the review page you can redirect that that's okay but i don't think i want to have another separate menu here for reviews that's not really necessarily that's me really it's up to you to choose whatever you want for me i can just leave the grids the grid view or the list view whatever view you want to use by default for your listings to the website for me i chose the list view i can drag that anywhere i want here i can just say after services i want them to see all my listings i can just say find the home or i can just call these listings so that's really up to you whatever you want to do then about me i might want to change it from about me to about or about us or whatever uh regardless of what you are doing and uh, so that's it and i can then add the login page so i can come down here and come to login you can also add the sign up in case you want to add that to the menu that's literally up to you 
So that's it. Uh, once I have done this, I can then hit the save menu. And then if I come back to the front end of my website right now, and if I refresh this page, I will have the option for people now to log in and then to sign up. And people can then come to my listings. And once they hit this, it will bring down here, it will bring them down to this page here when they can check my active listings. So I can eat this for me to see what this look like. And then you can see I have this here. This is the house I'm trying to sell. Uh, that's it. And people can request an info. So I think we're done with the uh, uh, integrating listings to this site. So the next thing we can do here is for us to customize front end before I now go eventually to the back end. If you want to do that, you can edit this page with Elementor because I chose Elementor as my page builder earlier, as you can see. If you chose Beaver Builder or you chose uh, Gutenberg, which is the default WordPress page builder, you have the option for Elementor. You can edit them with those platforms. So that's it here. We have, Elem we have Elementor here. I'll close this pop-up and then I would close this as well. And then you can see I'm brought down here to this page and everything here is clickable. So welcome. I am John. Let's say I want to change this to I am Dabs. I can literally change this on the live website or I can change it here in this box. Either way, I can make changes. So I can just close this. You can see I'm doing that on the live and it's affecting here by my file left. And I can just say Dabs. And the good thing about Elementor now is Elementor now is now working with AI. So you can write things with AI. You can use AI to generate content. Uh, then that will need you to connect. Uh, but right now, I'm not using that right now. So you can check other tutorials for that. I might, I might do another tutorial for you to see how you can begin to uh, integrate this with AI. I think it's still in the beta version. So uh, it's still in the pipeline. So you can test out with this tool to use AI directly inside Elementor. Making better decisions with real estate. You can also change the text here. You can change this image here by clicking this. So you can change this image here to your image if you have that in your WordPress already. Or you can just go directly into your computer to upload your image and then put that there. But I would advise that you make the image uh, with a transparent background. That will help the image here integrate with the background that we have here as well. Uh, so that's it. Uh, you can change the text here. You can also change the signature here by uploading your own signature and you can change literally everything here can be changed. And that's the beauty about Elementor. So you can see every element here is clickable. And once you is clickable, you can click it to change that. So right now you can change this in case you don't want people to call you, but you can make people call you and then you can put a link here. Uh, for people to call you, you can just do my little and put the number so that once people click that, it can directly start dialing that number. So you can change everything you have literally here. So once you click this here, you have the option to change everything that is here, put the logo, everything literally. You can also change this image here as well. Uh, so there's nothing literally you cannot change, and that's the beauty about this. I don't want to change all these things here to my stuff because I really don't want to waste time. But I want to show you how super easy it is for you to customize things here, the front end here with Elementor in case you are new to this. Uh, so this is literally simple. And in case you want to add more things here, you can easily come here, click this uh, button here. And you'll see other elements you can add in case you want to add other stuff here. So let's say you want to add a video, for example, you want to have a video here. You can easily just drag this element. Uh, you can easily just drag it to wherever you want the video to be. And then you can place the video here. Let's say I just want to put the video somewhere here, say, for example, I can maybe let's put it down here. You can, I can then choose what type of video I want to upload. If it's a YouTube video, I can leave this as YouTube. And then I can then put the link to the video here. But I can do a Vimeo video as well as a daily motion and a self-hosted video. And then I can just do external URL in case this video is maybe on Google Drive or whatever the video is. And you can put the URL here and then this will play the video. So let's leave this as YouTube. Uh, so. 
so you see we have the option here for this video so if i close this now you can see what this look like i have a video here i can i can bring the video here uh maybe directly under the image everything you have to do is just drag and drop i uh, just drag this uh bring this here so you can see is as simple as a drag and drop so that's literally how to edit this drag and drop anything anywhere you can rearrange the tables you can drag them so if you want to know more about elementor you can check out for elementor tutorials uh, even on my channel uh, but this is just as simple as it can get just simple drag it here drop it here search for any element here you want to use and then you can the pro versions you cannot use and then i have a tutorial on my youtube channel so if you scroll down you would see this tutorial here 150 plus elemental free landing page template with 2000 with even extra 2000 templates that you can bring into your elemental website so you can check out for this tutorial to see the plugin that you would install that will give you access to several other tutorials where am I? Okay, I think you may want to have a services tab on your own page. You may want to have frequently asked questions tables. You may want to do so many things, maybe even a pricing table uh, on your own page. So if you check out for that plugin, you would have access to all these template element blocks for free so that's a tutorial you should check in case you want to learn more about elementor so for the sake of this tutorial here i would just literally right click this and then i would delete this video element and it is gone literally that's it that's how you can do this on page edit for you to edit your website so that's it so you would see that you would see inside the mentor here we don't have access to the header and also even this footer for us to change our logo so i will show you exactly how to do that i would not be updating this page i would rather exit this page uh So you can go to every of the page on the website uh, to edit them with Elementor and then for you to customize. Oh, I thought I went to the front end. Sorry, let me just change the URL directly. Okay, so you can do the same thing for our services page. You can also go there, edit it with Elementor. You can change this image as you as I did here on this website here. I did make some changes. So if I come to services, you can see that I have a different image here entirely. So you can you can play around with this. You can edit all of these things here, change the image. And if you don't want the image entirely, you can right click and delete the image so that you just have this background here and then the services that you render so literally up to you to decide what you want to do so that's it for the front end editing of this other editing that we need to do or other customization we need to do right now is front end especially for our listing pages and everything that has to do with this plugin that designed this so if you want to customize anything here we have to do all those things from the back end. So let's go, let's now uh, go to the back end for us to start every form of customization we can have. So if we come back here, let's finish up with the theme first before we come to the plugin. So if you come to appearance here, you come to customize, you would have access here for you to make some form of editing to the website so if you come to global here you have access to change the typography and you can change the headings the front you can play around with those to see what would work for you you also have the option to change the colors to any other color you want so you can see the color palette here is the same thing we have here so you can change the team colors to whatever color you want and uh, to give it uh, your color so that's something you can do there for the container as well you may want to change the container uh change the container width but for me i just love the hardly of the website already so i'll leave the container the way it is uh, but you can play around also to see even for the buttons you can change the colors and 
do some other things here under the global for the header builder if you come down here you will now have the option to build the header so you can see this is where the logo is so you can see the logo here i may say no i want to drag the logo somewhere here at the center for example so you can see the logo is now here and then i may want to break the menu into two and put some here and put other here so this is the primary menu here i can create a secondary menu here and then i will have to go and alter my menu so here i can just choose maybe another widget i can just choose widget one or i just do secondary menu and uh, you can see secondary menu is carrying literally all everything we have here so i will split the menu from primary to secondary that's literally up to you to choose how you want your header uh, outlay like uh, but for the sake of the tutorial i'll keep it the way it is i'll just drag this back here and then leave the menu here as well so that's it for the header uh you can also come down here to come to site title so you can here then select your own logo that you want to use and then the width of the logo you can adjust it when you upload a new logo here and you can also add a retina logo in case you want your website to be sleek on retina devices so that's up to you you can change the site title here uh, you can choose a uh, site title visibility if you want people to see it and on maybe different logo uh, for our inline logo and site title as well you want to add your site tagline uh, but you can see this logo here already have a logo on the tagline so if that's your case you don't you want to put your tagline in your logo that's fine you may put this very blank but again for seo purpose even if you have your tagline in your logo i would advise that you have a site tagline here you can just say uh, your site uh, might be best car center your tagline might be the best real estate consulting in the united states or in new jersey or in california or in chicago or in texas so you may want to have that kind of tagline uh that's really up to you to know the tagline for your website and your size icon as well is very important so you can see hostinger here you can see behind this text here there's a logo here this logo is the site icon you may want to design something as well so you can use canva you can use any platform here to design something and then upload that here so that's it for that uh you can also have a transparent header but i don't want to waste time doing all of this so uh elementor is quite literally very easy for you to use so i believe that you won't have any problem with this if you do you can check out other tutorials with elementor to customize this website to your feel so another thing you may want to customize here is the is the footer here you may want to remove powered by astra wordpress team so if you come down to the footer builder you have access for you to change the copyright so you can see this is the copyright here if you click that here you can see that you can literally remove this part by and you can just change it to yourself so i can just say part by dabs and i can as well still put uh you can see dabs here i can also still put a link to my website just for example if you are designing this for someone and you want to have a credit there for yourself if you're a designer you can just easily just put a link to dabs and then i can pull my any url here so anybody who clicks dabs would be directed to my url and that's very simple to do i would advise that you leave this short code for current year current title so that once you change your title uh it will automatically change here and by every year this will automatically update itself so if you type in manually year 2023 uh, you have to come and keep changing that uh year every other year for your site to be updated so i will encourage you to leave this as is uh, so that's it for literally changes you can make here uh i don't want to waste so much time than this uh so we can publish these changes and then we can close this so that's it for customizing front end and back end i want to believe that this is very self-explanatory and very easy for you to customize and then let's customize the plugin so let's see what the plugin tool does so if, if you come to aesthetic here and you over on this you will have uh, access to come down you have access to a good number of things from your dashboard to your listings uh, there's nothing we want to do here let's come to our listings 
I did show you this earlier. This is where you can filter between your listings. Since we have demo listings here, if you're over on the listing here, you have option to quick edit this, view this, edit this, unpublish this, duplicate this, or even delete this listing. You can easily just hit the edit button. And you can see, you can literally even use the demo content here to create your own content. You can change the title, you can change the PAMA, you can change the uh, PAMA links here. So I will always advise that you come, you do post name. That's the best PAMA link structure. So we hit save changes button and that's it. So when we come back here and we come to listings, uh, we can now come back to edit. So you can see now that the permalink structure here have changed. So now we can easily edit this uh, permalink here uh, to the link to this side and then just make it uh, literally like the same with this. But if you update this, it will naturally also update this. From the product information here, you can make quite a number of changes to the price, to price per square feet, to your price notes, and then some basic facts, your bedroom, bathroom, uh, total room floor floor levels you can make all these changes here and your appointment your open house so house is open by this date and by this time so people are allowed to book an appointment alone for them to be able to check the house if they could check the house without an appointment from you then you can close this uh, so that's uh, really up to you so you can hard label this is a futured one is a foreclosure just listed or is an open house that's really up to you. So you can come also down to location. You can set your location. Unfortunately, I can't hide this on map because I have not integrated my map API key. So, and that's it. You can add address manually like we just did here. You can add photos and media of the houses. You can upload your floor plan. You can add the video. You can, you can upload the video and even also embed uh, the video directly on the website. And you can also upload the video in case you have the video in MP4. Uh, so that's really, really up to you. Uh, building details, you can cooling futures, eating futures. So you can put all the details about this house and also nearby schools, elementary, secondary, high school. Uh, so this is quite fantastic. So uh, if you are done with us, you can put your amenities here too as well. You can add neighborhoods. Uh, so this will help you filter even despite the fact that it's a city. There might be neighborhoods around that you want to filter down uh, your searches to neighborhood. So you can add the neighborhood of this building. You can put amenities that this building have. Maybe dishwasher, dryer. I can just say, okay, maybe a generator set. And then I hit enter. As you can see, I already added that to this. And also futures. It has air condition, fire alarm. It has a Wi-Fi, smoke detector. Uh, so whatever it is, uh, you can just type them in here. Or you can choose if you are from the uh, most used tags. If there are tags you have used concurrently on other listings, you have access to them here. And then the status of the house, it is open. If it is closed, then you can just close it. Uh, if it's a rent, you can just choose your rental period here. You can add, uh, that's really up to you. Uh, so type is an apartment. You can choose uh, also for category. This is for rent now. This is not for sale. You can change this to for sale. Uh, so that's really up to you for you to customize your listings and then have them live on your website. So. If you are not doing this, we can still come down here and then add a new property. That's literally up to you. You can put the title from scratch and then you can literally add something entirely new and go through the same process. That's it. Uh, it's super simple, super easy, I believe. And then you can come to your data manager. Uh, this will give you access to manage the things that you want on the site and the things that you do not want so for our categories we have categories for rent and for sale so if you have an option for let's say mortgage so you can just do more mortgage and then you can add this so you can see we have a new option here for mortgage so the categories for our listings are for rent for sale and then mortgage so that's really up to you to decide whatever you can add more parameters. Uh, you can come to types. 
after you are done with categories so we have apartment apartment we have condo condos house houses land multi-family office townhouses you can add different types of properties that you want to list here and the amenities that they have you can add more amenities a jacuzzi microwave so like i showed you earlier you can also add new things there so building details they have carpet they have concrete hardwood laminate uh, you can add more stuff here external materials you can add so that's that's this is very robust this is something that you can walk around to add more things that you are using for your real estate and i believe this is quite fantastic so you can come down to status your status goes vis-a-vis -vis with your categories so you can see the status is active auto draft deleted open pending sold unpublished so you can add new labels or status to your listings uh so i think but these ones here are quite enough uh, you can come down to your labels so you can see just listed futures foreclosure just listed open house you can add new option basically so rent period you can also come down here per day per month per week per year so that's in case you don't want to do per day you can literally just delete that here do you want to delete the per day option i want to remove that that's literally up to you so this is you customizing your listings to how you want them to be so you can go all over all of them one after the other to your locations to your country in case you are listing uh real estate that is in other country apart from the united states that we chose earlier you can add the countries here add all the state the provinces the cities and i showed you as well how you can even add more neighborhoods for further search down to communities around that uh, for that set to listings around that neighborhood that is inside a city so this is quite very fantastic so you can come to your field builders as well this will help you build your listing fields so you can literally remove some things you don't want to add. You don't want to add your category, the type, the status, the bedrooms. You can delete them and you can add as much as possible as you want. So you can go over them one after the other. Your floor plans, if you come down here, you can see the basic thing you have here is floor plan. In case you don't want to have that, you can literally delete them. You can add more session. You can create a new field. Uh, you can just add whatever you want to add to it and this is literally how amazing and how super simple easy it is for you to customize your listings so so there's a last place here for settings so you can come down here and then choose your language uh in case uh this is not in your native language you can come you can choose the language you want to but i think i'm okay with english and then you can make some changes here change the color your main color and your secondary colors and then upload logos that you want to show in the admin logo login page and when people want to log in you want them to see your logo you may want to add that here uh, and then eat your save changes uh, so that's it and you have access to other things here in the settings your map your recapture you can also add a recapture too as well so that people will not be using your forms anyhow uh, so that's also very free for you to do. If you eat this here, you have op option here for you to have access to that. So that's it for this. I want to believe that this plugin is very detailed and thorough and is self-explanatory. You shouldn't have any problem at all trying to use this. If you have any problem, you can let me know in the comment. I might look into it to see if I can find a solution to that for you. So that's literally everything here. If you come to dashboard here, you can easily uh, come to short code here in case you want to use this plugin beyond uh, beyond how it is. So if you come to short code here, it will take you to uh, their website here where you have access to all the short codes available for you for this. And you can also still see other settings. Uh, you can also still see other uh, guides here that should help you. So you can see if you want to uh, your listings, property search, your slider, request form, your register, your profile. These are all the shortcodes here to drive all those pages here. 
So you can come down here and then you can still see other things here that can help you uh, make the best out of this plugin. So uh, this plugin is a fantastic plugin with fantastic features, at least at the basic level, which is free. You also may want to check out their pro and see if it would work out for you. So that's it for this tutorial. I believe that now you can go ahead and design your real estate website for free and then you can start selling your consulting business and also selling active listings on your website. If you find this tutorial quite amazing, give me a thumbs up. And if you find this video quite useful, uh, let me know in the comment that this video is useful for you and as well subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any other video, subsequent videos from me. And that's my time for this video. I would see you in another video. And until then, have an amazing time. Bye for now.